many of you in here who have achieved incredible things. When you go home, you have a stack full of gold cups and certificates. But they don't bring you as much joy today as the day when you first got them. Am I telling the truth? Wait a minute. If you're 20 years old, you're 40 years old, you've got a stack of things you've accomplished. They stand on your wall. You've got certificates from colleges and high schools. They're fading in the sun. They don't light you up nearly as much as the day when you got them, true? Because the human being was never built to settle. Every day that you wake up is a challenge for you to rise higher and to be better and to go more places. There are people all across this country who expect to get a raise at the end of every year, but they've not considered whether their contribution to the job has gone up. Where is the law that says I need to be given more if I don't put out more? We are built to put out more. And if you had fulfilled the last purpose of your life before going to bed last night, you would have died in your sleep. My contention is the mere fact that you're alive so there are more mountains to climb and places to go because you will get no joy out of yesterday's mountains. True? So I, I, I kind of want to share a little bit about this with you, but we don't have time. So I'm going to whip by a couple of the concepts rather quickly. There are seven universal principles in this book. And if you are down and out and drunken in the trench, and somebody could cut the top of your head off and surgically implant these things, you couldn't stay there. Literally, you, it would levitate you. And I'm not bragging as an author because I have to live up to what's in here. There are some fundamental principles of life which when you practice will lift you almost automatically. And I'll share a couple of them with you, or three. One of them is the law of vision. The law of vision says what you see is what you get, and if you cannot see it, you cannot have it. If your ability to see is limited to 2020, you might well be blind, because there's another way to see that goes beyond your eyesight. There is a myth that is being circulated around this country, and I'm happy that it is not in this company. It says seeing is believing. Have you heard it? It's not just a myth, it's a lie. The truth is, believing is seeing. May I prove that to you? This building into which we've come, taken for granted that it's here and it's got all the protection from the weather and all the comforts and so forth, it did not exist at one time. Somebody saw it and said, I'm going to put a building there. It's going to sit in this direction. It's going to have this many stories, and it's going to look like this or that. Somebody saw the building before it happened, and subsequently, it was able to come into being. That was a visionary. And too many people live their lives not looking ahead at what has not yet happened, but looking behind. Oh, you and I have so much baggage. And we're looking back and saying, somebody attacked something to me a long time ago. Somebody borrowed money from me and didn't pay me. My father said I was worthless when I was a little boy, and he's marred me for life. I got somehow hurt when I was a youngster. Or somebody says, man, I wish we would go back to the 70s. Those were good old days. <laughs> and in both cases, we're looking in the rearview mirror. And if you're ever going to be great, if you're going to leave a mark on your family when you go, you have to have the ability and the willingness to look ahead to things that have not yet happened. When you're driving, if you spend most of your time looking in the rearview mirror, you're going to get glass and blood sooner or later, true? <laughs> so what do you do? Even though you're practical and you say reality that is here is real, yet you look beyond what is here out down the road where the curb is and where the truck is coming so that you can see ahead of time to negotiate around the truck. You see the customer, the person who's passing across the street so you don't run that person over and you're safe and you're fine and you drive well. Oh, if we could run our lives that way. Each of us stands on the edge of the future and every decision and every thought manifests into the present. Do you know how much power you have? Just realizing that you can shape the future by your decisions and your thinking. The law of vision says, what do you want? Do you see it? Do you dream about it? Do you have an imagination that wakes up in the night thinking about it? Because if you do, you'll somehow help to move yourself closer to that. What a powerful thought. I live right now in the vision of what's going to happen tomorrow. And it's so powerful that sometimes it scares me. It is the nature of dreams to be bigger than the dreamer. Some of you as teenagers had magnificent technicolor dreams, and you have backed off from them and thought you're too old or you're not educated enough. It is all thinking. It's all thinking. If you get the thinking right, you may be 55 years old, and when that thought hits you, it lights you up. Dreams, you can write this down, dreams do not die, people do. Dreams do not die, people do. 
So let me stop. I'm blasting at you real hard here. How many of you know you have to achieve a level of greatness before you die? Same question. Say I. It's not enough to think about what you did yesterday. You have to do some things today and tomorrow. Say I. Me too.